Hi there, Jamie Keat here tonight at Teachers Tech. Hope everyone's having a fantastic night. Tonight I want to take a look at a feature uh, in Google Forms and that's the upload feature. I've had a few questions on this lately and I just want to clarify where it would work and where it won't work uh, for you. So it's a great feature that they've added, but it's not on every account. So let's take a quick look at this and how it works tonight. So I've created three different forms here, one from my personal account, one from my business account, and one from my school account. So I want to show you the differences between this upload feature, where it will work and where it won't work for you. So I'm just in my school account right now, and I just want to show you quickly where to access this file upload. If I click on my drop down menu on a question, and I just started from a blank template here, and I drop down, you can notice I have file upload. So if I go ahead and click on this, it will change the question type and allow me to go through the file upload. And I'll explain more about this in a moment. If I went over to my personal account, you notice if I drop down, I have no file upload available to me. So if you're in your personal account looking for this file upload, it's not there, it won't work. It only works for schools or organization under one domain and the file can only be shared amongst that organization. If I go over to my business account here and do the same thing, so if I click on the question and you can give it, a, I'll just give it a name real quickly and I drop down, uh, notice it's not there and if you know it and it, you can what you have to do is make a slight change to this because right now in this form it's shared out with everybody and remember what I said your form can only be shared out for an upload uh, purposes to your organization so I need to go up to my settings up top and I need to restrict the to key users so if I click on this button right here it's going to only be restricted to key users so anybody within this working within this domain I'm going to go ahead and hit save and go back to this question. If I drop it down, down, you notice I have the file upload uh, option here. So remember, personal account, it won't work, but in your business or school accounts, you do have this option, but you can't share the document that's going to be file uploaded to someone else. So if you created and you want to collect information uh, or documents from somebody outside of your organization, they won't be able to upload unless they have an account with that organization. So I'm just going to go ahead and and uh, finish this example here just showing you how the upload feature works and I'm going to stay in my business account here uh, you can see all files will be uploaded to the form owners Google Drive and I'll show you where this I'll upload a document to show you make sure to only share this from uh, uh, form with people you trust and I'm just going to hit continue and here are some options here you notice you can have multiple files here one five or ten I have a uh, file size I can choose. I like that they give you some rather large options here. You can go up to 10 gigabytes. So if there was any video projects uh, or anything with large graphics, you can uh, make sure you adjust it so that it can be handed in. Google Forms works really well for embedding into uh, Google Sites and the new Google Sites for creating um, almost a course base, uh, uh, base using this as an upload feature for students uh, to hand in their work or even creating uh, quizzes uh, inside of this. So something else to think about is using this option inside Google Sites to give that embedded feature. Uh, so just going down here, so file types, I right now I have all file types allowed here. If I unchecked it, I could select different ones, but I'm just gonna allow all file types here. I'm gonna hit uh, apply on this one here. So I'm just gonna go and go to my preview button right up here just to show you how this works and I'm gonna upload just a PDF that I have and I'm gonna click the add file. So this would be like if I was uh, had have sent it to somebody on this one, so they have to be part of this domain. I'm gonna add file. I'm gonna select something from my computer, but I could select it from my drive too. I'm just gonna pick this PDF here of something I scanned. It's gonna upload. It's a not, a not a large file. You can see that was the name of it that was scanned. I'm gonna hit submit and it uh, will get submitted. So if I went back to my business, so I'm on my business one, you can see I have responses here from this one. And if I click on it, uh, there's the form attached to it right here. I can view the folder in Google Drive and I can view the spreadsheet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the folder option here. 
And you can see now what happened was it created, it put this inside Google Drive. If I went back one level, I'm going to go to my drive. Just you could, this is what it created here was this uh, business folder. And then it's putting the documents that uh, get collected, that get uploaded into this one right here. Uh, the other thing, if I go back to it, it also creates the spreadsheet, which uh, Google Forms does. If I click on it and I'm just going to hit create new spreadsheet here, hit create. And you're you're going to see that it timestamps it and gives a uh, gives a link to where it is in Google Form, so you can go through the information that way too. So it is a handy feature to have. I really like this, especially in the school setting or if you're in an organization sharing files, uh, to have this upload uh, feature in your Google Forms. But remember, it's not for your personal accounts, and I know that's frustrating uh, for some people that have their personal accounts. Uh, look into the business account, maybe if you're going that way, or maybe some other options. Uh, but yeah, for right now, it's either going to be your school or a business account. So I hope you like this little tip. It's been out for a few months here. I just had a few questions lately uh, from uh, some of my subscribers about the upload feature. So I thought I'd do a little video on this. Remember, I do these weekly tech tips. And if you like what you see, please subscribe, uh, subscribe to my channel. Share this with a few friends if you think it might help them out and hit that like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.